theme is going to be uh, my experience in working with young designers. Um, I get the privilege uh, every day uh, of working with some amazing uh, students over the last 21 years. Uh, so 10 or 15 years ago, where you were is where I go to work every day. So I have, I have uh, uh, the, the amazing opportunity to work with some outstanding people. Uh, for decades and decades, uh, what is now design in Ontario was uh, traditional drafting. So back in 77, a budding drafting uh, student uh, uh, growing up in London, this is the best that he could do. So for my experience growing up in high school, uh, pretty uh, uninspiring, pretty boring, um, and not too much inspiration. Uh, one of the things that I uh, try to express on my students is the capability when you're young. Uh, Moshe Shafti, back in 67, at McGill, uh, studying the architecture McGill, uh, did probably his finest work. Um, Habitat uh, is renowned and known all over the world uh, for a most amazing uh, project. Uh, two, two architects, if you only know two architects, Frank Gehry, Frank Lloyd Wright. So I tell my students, if you can only remember two, uh, Frank Gehry, of course, Canadian born, uh, working in his uh, mid 80s out in California doing amazing work, and Frank Lloyd Wright, probably the most recognized uh, uh, famous architect coming out of the United States. Um, I was pretty sad to see this uh, a couple years ago in a quote uh, from a student on the chat talking that she didn't have any experience of working, um, doing any 3D work after graduating from a program in the United States. And I thought that's incredibly unfortunate because young people uh, are more capable of doing uh, 3D work. You just have to give them the opportunity. They're more capable. Uh, here's an example of what kids can do in high school. So this is an F1 car that a student designed from scratch using uh, studio tools and incredibly complex software. At least that's what some uh, institutions think, but for our kids, I just tell them it's different. It's nothing, uh, it's not difficult, it's just different. You just have to learn how to use it. And kids are more than capable. Uh, it's amazing how, uh, and then Alex, uh, working with another student, helping, uh, helping uh, using studio tools, uh, so peer teaching. So. Um, in, our, in my environment, it's, uh, it's a studio, We're working as a group to help each other. Uh, and I think it's a real compliment to the students when they, when they can master software that they can help uh, someone else do the same thing. Um, uh, females and girls, designers, see, uh, work and see things differently. So here, it was, uh, a simple project doing a chess, chess set, but Courtney's idea of her design and choices of images and the way she takes her rendered image is beautiful. Um, it's very elegant and it's uh, extremely uh, amazing to look at for a simple a complex. Um, problems that every city uh, has is uh, what do you do with older buildings that are architecturally important uh, in terms of the history of the city and that are for sale or abandoned. So I express upon my students, what, what should we do? What's, who's responsible for taking care of what's important in the city? Um, so one of the projects that I give every year with my grade 12s is I find a, a, a vacant or a for sale building. This was an old uh, uh, cookie factory that had been abandoned. The, the employers just left town. And this was Alex's idea of what we should do with it. Just amazing in terms of uh, what he thinks it should be turned into. And it's still empty and the city has uh, no idea what to do. Um, any chance I can, I bring people in to speak with, uh, with the students, uh, an amazing uh, organization, uh, Engineers Without Borders. So these are young students, first and second year engineering students, working with young, st young students, uh, doing workshops in terms of uh, creating clean water environments and food and raising uh, very important social issues. Um, uh, several years ago, uh, when General Motors was on the verge of bankruptcy, um, after decades and decades of uh, of experience designing vehicles, they really didn't know what to do anymore. Uh, their idea was to purchase Hummer is where they were should be heading. But when I presented the opportunity for Jeff to come up with a concept car, he looked completely different. Um, uh, we have uh, two students that are working with a, a museum in the United States, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, they have uh, antique cars, so it's using state-of-the-art technology and bridging and working with um, uh, communities that are trying to preserve the history. Uh, and, in, and in Indiana, these are, uh, these are vehicles that they designed. Uh, an amazing uh, fellow that I know uh, out of the UK, Steve Stott, uh, came in and did two workshops with my kids, the most amazing designer and artist. Uh, anytime I can bring in world-class people to work with my kids, uh, that's how they get better. That's how they see how, uh, what it takes to be world-class. Steve is amazing. He's doing work for the government of Saudi Arabia right now. 
Um, an important experience that I try to do when we can is uh, the idea of designing something and not, and not fabricating a model, but fabricating a working prototype. So here's uh, Raf's idea of taking his desk organizer, going in the manufacturing environment, and actually producing it. So there it is sitting on his desk, and that's, I think, a real satisfaction to able to have something you see every day that you can design and fabricate it. Um, uh, one of my most uh, proud former students is uh, Rita de Cesare, who is a very uh, famous uh, Toronto clothes designer. She has her own uh, uh, company. The idea of creating a couch for pregnant women never been thought of. Um, the most brilliant idea, and uh, her professors thought the same thing. She did this at, uh, uh, at Carleton. Uh, Daryl Turn. Uh, he was so eager and so excited about designing motorcycles at school, he couldn't, he got stopped thinking about it. He ended up uh, going to, to Hamburg College, graduated, moved on, worked in Spain with a uh, cycling uh, place, did some work with Crocker Motorcycle. This is a concept he did and then ended up with uh, Buell uh, in the United States. Uh, an important uh, image that I have in my head, uh, back in 1983, um, at the age of 23, visiting New York City for the first time, so staying in the World Trade Center, 117th floor, and looking at 18 million people. It's unbelievable. And for me to have a bit of the building in the picture, uh, just talking about it's un unbelievable. And back then it was a relatively new building. The connection is I, te I taught, have taught, the project manager for the Freedom Tower. So every day at 5 o'clock, uh, Joe meets with uh, all the important supervisors and, and uh, you know, delegates what needs to be done. He started this project at the age of 29, uh, one of the most important uh, architectural projects in the last 50 years. Um, one of the reasons why I uh, go to work every day is for people like uh, uh, Chris uh, for five years. Every day he gives me the best that he has. He never he never does anything other than 100%. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, uh, he'll be the first guy I see tomorrow. He'll be the last one that leaves my room. And it's very easy for me to continue doing what I'm doing when I have people like Chris uh, every day. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.